Hassan Ridgeway, 27 years old, one year contract with the Niners, 305 pounds, John, six foot three. Uh, drafted by the Colts back in 2016 out of Texas in the fourth round, played for the Eagles, played against the Niners for the Eagles. You texted around. What, are the le- what does the league think about Hassan Ridgeway? Okay, I got some positives. Big, strong, athletic. Always a good thing. Has some twitch as a rusher. Very powerful when he wants to be. And that leads me into the negatives. A couple things I've heard. Lazy, working you know, work ethic on the field can be hit or miss. I think the way this guy was described up and down, very hit or miss on tape, is a little Arden Key. Now, this guy's older, right? He's been in the league right. a little longer. But I been think they're going... Teams, not one. Yeah, they're going back to the well of take a guy that's physically gifted, that can be hit or miss in terms of effort, and get him with our defensive line coach, let him cook. Because I, I that and obviously he caught he didn't cost very much money, but it's million dollars guaranteed. Kind of a low risk flyer uh, with a guy that has legitimate NFL attributes. The other thing I heard is backup. You know, not a starting player hasn't been like he's not viewed as a starting player. Now the yeah. Niners take guys and make them immediate rotational guys and high end rotational guys. So in kind of Chris Kasurik, do they trust? I, I would say that Chris you know, probably interested in this guy, right? I would be shocked if he's not, I, I, I want this guy, you know, at the right price. Like, who are your low-valued guys? This guy's probably near the top of his list. I, look, the, the Niners defensive line coach, Chris Kosarek, has quickly become one of their most valuable assets. Yeah. And as they continue to try and cycle through on the defensive line where they have expensive players like Eric Arbstead and Nick Bosa, they have done a, I would say, a damn good job of recovering from trading DeForest Buckner and not having Javon Kinlaw hit at least yet. And so this will be another, you know, Andy Andy Ford has been MIA for years. Andy Ford. Yep. That's a good call. So, uh, you know, Mo Hurst was another guy kind of in the Arden key, except Arden key produced Mo Hurst only played two games. Uh, but yeah, I would put that this is at the, uh, this is the clay for Chris Kacarek. If he can, and it's not about, getting every guy you add to become a producer, but can one out of two be a producer for you? You know, I think that's that'll be one of the questions here, and these are low what, risk. Like, Well, said. here's the other thing. Mo Hurst and DJ Jones, smaller players. This guy's 6'3 and a half, 3'10". There's a little source calling me right there. Long arms. At the combine, ran a 5 flat 40. So, I mean, you're talking about a big athletic, you know, again, he's 27, so it's not like he's 22. You get to mold him, but Pretty clearly, they think one gap scheme, get up field. Uh, to me, this guy, I'll be shocked if he doesn't flash throughout the season. And again, they're not depending on him to be DeForest Buckner, right? They paid him a million dollars guaranteed. I'll be interested to see, by the way, if anybody knows the story. Went to Texas, grew up in Texas, high school. Born in Richmond, California. I haven't. I tried to do a little digging in the few minutes that we had. Couldn't figure out how long he was in Richmond, California, Bay Area. But uh uh, get them around a good environment, and the Niners clearly have a defensive line environment that they can get the most out of guys and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, he's never had more than three sacks in a season. So, you know, production, he's not a very productive He's not here to – but he might. he's here to stop the run, I would say, primarily, and just – Yeah, be active. Make, make some shit happen. Right? Yeah. Maintain the pocket. So, DJ Jones was their uh, scout team uh, quarterback at times. I don't know if he'll be that, but – Well, you'd say this, you know – you're replacing defensive tackles, right? One guy gets $20 million guaranteed. The other guy makes $1 million. Like, there is an allocation of resources here. You're choosing yep. what to spend it on, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think like when they traded DeForest, you weren't De- – Javon Kinlaw didn't have to be DeForest Buckner. He just had to be a portion of him. This guy doesn't have to be DJ Jones. You're paying him one twentieth the salary. Well, I guess DJ's not getting twenty million necessarily year one, but you get the point. You're paying but the him a money that of you're. Cost. D- yeah, to me, y- you would die for Kinlaw just to be. Obviously, they're different players, but DJ Jones, right? <laughs> right. Just to be a just to be a good just to be a good starter. You, you don't know? necessarily want to draft that in the top twenty, but you would take it at this point. They would die for that right now.